Well, welcome back folks. We're right here in the shop. I got the ATV here. As you saw in the last video, if you watched, I got these two boxes made up. So I got this one here. I've got a place for two chainsaws, some safety glasses, etc. And on the back here, I got a box built for the firewood and whatever else. So ATV is coming right along. I got one other project I got to do, and that involves this. You'll notice there's no trailer hitch down here. And the reason being, it is up here on the workbench. So this is what is left of the little eeny beady, small little uh, trailer hitch that Polaris put on their, their uh, Polaris, their 700 Sportsman. So we got to come up with some other plan here. And uh, I think I've come up with it. So <clears throat> here's what happened. I went down to Princess Auto today. And Princess Auto, if you're from Canada, you know all about it. It's a store. They sell just about anything. Um, what I picked up was this. This is a receiver tube, and this is a tube that allows you to build your own receiver hitch for your for your uh, ATV or whatever, actually. So this is for a two inch. So here's a uh, here's the two inch um, two inch ball hitch setup. I'm going to put into the receiver. So I got to figure a way to mount this on the ATV. So I was uh, I was looking at two different places. I was looking at either somewhere down here where the old one was, where the existing stock hitch came, or receiver, I guess. Uh, the alternative was up here. Now, if I mount it up here, I'm not able to utilize these two points, which run the whole length of the of the ATV. So as you can see, way down there, these two pieces of steel make up uh, more or less the backbone or the frame of the ATV. So I want to use these as a, as, a, as a point to get strength from. If I mount it up here, the only spot where I'm getting uh, strength from are these pieces. These pieces here, so they hold up the, uh, the, back, uh, the back A arms here, um, the, the sway bar as well. They're a little on the thin side if you ask me. So I don't want to be putting a whole bunch of weight on there, especially with a uh, two inch receiver. I'm hauling around some stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mount something up down here. I think the plan is this. So <clears throat> went outside to the old scrap pile and uh, found this thing. So as the snow's melting, some of the good things are, uh, some of the things I had out there in the yard are coming back to the surface. So this is the old backrest off the go-kart. I noticed on the base here, someone at one point or another welded this piece of uh, quarter inch angle, angle iron. So I'm going to use that instead. <clears throat> I think what's going to happen, the angle iron, if you can imagine the shape like that, it's going to fit over top of these two steel members on the bottom of the ATV. That will allow me to bolt it down through two existing holes I have. And it'll provide some rigidity so that the hitch, or the receiver I guess, can't tilt this way. So that's going to be it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Uh, this project, just like many of my other projects, is going to involve lots of scrap I have kicking around. Uh, hopefully, I can get this built for a grand total of $14.99, cost of this thing. So let's uh, get after it. We'll see what we can do. And uh, here we go. I tell ya, those wilds are worse than mine. Okay. 